Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Alessandra and this is Julia. And we are here today to analyze Julia's colors. That's right, okay. I can't wait. If you are curious to see uh, Julia analyzing me, you can find the video up here. Before we start, please consider to subscribe to our channel. We are new here on YouTube. We need your support and follow us on social media. We are on Instagram. We will leave the link below. Also, if you like our method and you would like to discover your color palette, please consider to visit our website in the link uh, below. We offer face-to-face -face, uh, sessions here in Melbourne and also online sessions too. Okay, so Julia, are you ready? I am, let's start. Okay, let's start. During the first part of the analysis, we are going to measure Julia's undertone. And to do that, we need to neutralize all the colors around her. So we cover her hair and also her clothes. During the first part of this analysis, we need to focus on Julia's skin, okay? So our attention is on her face and not on the colors that we are trying on. Okay, so we are comparing a warm red, tomato red, yellow base, with a cool red, that is blue based. Let's see how Julia's skin reacts to different colors. So, tomato red or raspberry red. Let's try again. I see a very big difference here in the mirror. Yes, me too. So what I see here with the tomato red is that your skin became yellowish while with the raspberry red your skin is cleaner, more defined, fresher. Yes, yes, I totally agree. So one point to the cool. Let's compare now this couple of colors. So a salmon pink, which is obviously orange, okay, with a blue based pink, which is of course cool. Wow, with this couple of colors, uh, I think that uh, is even more evident than uh, with the red. I, I agree, yes. Yes, absolutely. So salmon pink is a very difficult color to wear uh, if you don't have a warm undertone yes. and probably you have a cool undertone because uh, I see harmony with the cool pink, okay? While with the salmon pink, I see this golden reflection uh, that reflects on your skin and is not very healthy. Yeah, it's, it doesn't match yes, uh, with exactly. my undertone. Well, with this one, more harmony and uh, your skin is cleaner and more yeah. fresh. Yes. Let's compare now two darker colors. Okay, so a warm brown, mm -hmm. which is of course yellow based, with the navy blue that is cool and is perfect for you. I love you in this color. Yeah, I really love uh, navy blue and I think it uh, matches my undertone. No, no, no again, no, no. <laughs> again, this golden reflection on your undertone is not really healthy. No. It makes your skin look yellow. Mm, true, true. And it's not a nice yellow. It's not no. a golden yellow. No. no. <laughs> Why with navy blue, wow, your skin is glowing here. Let's compare now to a different white. So we have a creamy white which has a touch of yellow that makes it look uh, creamy. Okay, so warm. With the white white and wow, with this vivid white I see your skin glowing again. Yes. It's very nice. Oh wow, yeah, so much better. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. A lot of points to the cool so far. Absolutely, yes. But to be 100% sure that Julia has a cool undertone, we need to compare silver versus gold. Silver represents the cold side, while 
gold represents the warm side. So let's see Julia's skin with gold and with silver. Wow, that's a very big change. Yes, a huge difference. Yeah, with metals uh, is even more evident. Uh, and I really like uh, how silver makes your skin glow. Yes. Other two colors that are very interesting to compare are blue and rust. So let's see how Julia's skin reacts to the rust compared to the blue. Wow, yes, no, <laughs> oh, it's so, so obvious. So obvious. You are a very easy case because uh, uh, your undertone is very evident. Okay, so Julia, there's no doubt that your undertone is cool, so you will be either winter or summer. We are excluding the two warm seasons, spring and autumn, because they have a warm undertone. So Julia will be either winter or summer, depending on her level of intensity. Are her colors bright or soft? We need to measure her intensity to find out if Julia will belong to the high intensity season, winter, or the low intensity level, season, summer. So to find out Julia's intensity, we need to compare two different greens. A sage green, which is soft, part of the summer palette, versus an emerald green, which is part of the winter palette and is obviously bright, right? So is Julia's intensity more like the emerald green or more like the sage green? Let's see how these colors look as a background. So as you can see here, the colors is almost disappearing against Julia's color that are very strong and intense and bright right? As soon as I place the right background, Julia's intensity is matching perfectly with the background. True, true. In this case there's more harmony huh? with, the, with the emerald. Absolutely, absolutely. So Julia's level of intensity is as bright as the emerald green. The sage green will still look good on her because the undertone is correct, it's a cool color, right? But it's not enough for her colors. And with emerald green, everything matches perfectly. To confirm Julia's level of intensity, we usually use these multicolor drapes, okay? So of course all these colors are cool, Okay, so they will all look good on Julia, okay, because they match their uh, hair undertone. Let's see if in terms of intensity, Julia's colors are more similar to the high level of intensity, medium level of intensity, okay, or the low level of intensity. No, low level is no. too low for you, absolutely. Yeah too soft. Yes, yes, absolutely. My colors are uh, way stronger than those from the low level of intensity. Absolutely, absolutely agree. Probably your colors are not as intense as the colors in the high level of intensity drape, but as soon as we go to the medium, yeah, we see more harmony here, but we cannot go farther than this because the low level of intensity is way too low yeah. for your colors that are more uh, intense and stronger true. than this one. True. I'm probably somewhere between the medium and high. Absolutely. But definitely not low. Since Julia has a cool undertone and her level of intensity is medium high, Julia belongs to the winter palette. 
Yes, uh, exactly. Did you guys guess? Let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you had a different opinion, but yeah, definitely winter. There's no Absolutely. doubt. So Julia, you are winter and the winter palette is divided in three subgroups, which represent the main characteristics of the winter palette, which are the coolness, the depth and the brightness. If your characteristics are perfectly balanced between each other, you will be what we call true winter. If we see that colors from a specific subgroup are better than the others, you will belong to that subgroup because that characteristic is gonna be your main characteristic. So let's start to check the winter bright palette. And let's see if we like it. Okay. Uh, the emerald is back. The emerald is back. And I think that suits you very, very well. Is in harmony with your colors, with your characteristics. So very, very beautiful uh, color for you. I yes. agree. I really love uh, this, uh, you know, very cool, intense uh, emerald green. Absolutely, absolutely. Cyan. Very good color as well. I really like it uh, on you. Very nice. Like yeah. it yeah. Me too. a lot. Me too. Lemon yellow. Um, we can do better. We can do better. It's not bad, but uh, I really believe that the emerald and the cyan that we saw before were way better. True. And magenta, very bright, very nice. I really like this color on you, Julia. Yes. Um, I like this palette. Well, let's see if uh, we prefer another one over this one, mm -hmm. because the cool part of color analysis is that we can compare colors, right? So we like this palette very much on her, but let's see if uh, uh, the deep subgroup or the cool subgroup will work better. Let's move on to the deep subgroup. So let's start with this beautiful deep orchid. Oh, you is stunning, absolutely. So in I this really case, like guys, the level of intensity of this deep orchid is a bit lower, okay? Uh, so if we compare to the magenta that we saw before in the uh, bright subgroup, I see a very big difference. So this is why we need to compare colors, because this magenta was stunning on Julia, but then we saw the deep orchid that is working even better. Even better. True. Okay. So magenta was working very fine. well, yeah, 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 fine, but the deep orchid is much, much better. So we are in the deep subgroup, so we see colors that are deeper, okay, and slightly less intense True. than the bright subgroup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Violet, very beautiful, very elegant and refined on you, Julia, I really like it, really yeah. like it, and has the touch of depth that makes uh, uh, this color more refined on you compared to the bright subgroup that we saw before. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, true. Petroleum, stunning. Petroleum is stunning. And if we compare to the emerald green that we saw before, I think that this petroleum is working better for the same reason. I agree, yes. Emerald was working very well on you. Yes. Julia, very nice, absolutely. But when you can do better, why don't try to <laughs> yeah. do better, you know? True, true. Yeah, I really love uh, when, you know, you compare colors uh, because sometimes uh, we think about a color and maybe we say, oh yeah, that one works on me or that one doesn't work, but compared to what? It works better than this or it works okay. worse than that. So comparing colors is key in color analysis. Absolutely. It's something that I really like doing mm. when uh, I analyze a client. And then we have a black. So black is part of the winter palette. So you can definitely wear black. It looks good on you, but it doesn't look stunning, you know, that you see, wow, this is 
an amazing color. True, yeah, I agree. It's fine, it's good, it works, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, all of the other uh, colors from the deep subgroup were better, I guess, compared to black. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely agree. Let's see now the cool subgroup and let's see if we like it even more than the deep one because at the moment, Julia, I have a preference from, for the deep subgroup. Me too, me too. Let's see now the colors from the cool subgroup and let's see if they work better or worse. Let's start with this beautiful cobalt, Julia. It's absolutely stunning. I love you. this color. That's amazing. And if we compare it to the cyan that we saw in the brighter subgroup, Absolutely, is working much better. Yes, much yes. better. This cyan is uh, probably a bit uh, too light for you for mm -hmm. your colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, while cobalt is perfectly in uh, harmony. Pine green, wow, stunning on you. That's one of your colors, right? Yes, uh, yeah. yes, uh, one beautiful. of my favorite colors. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, perfect undertone mm -hmm. and perfect intensity for you. This is uh, a medium-high level of intensity, it's not high. Mm -hmm. A beautiful cherry red that's stunning as well, it's very elegant and refined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and cherry is my go-to when it comes to reds. Um, I think it really matches my undertone intensity and value, so and value too, everything yeah. looks uh, correct and in harmony. And navy blue. We saw it already in the undertone face uh, that navy was working very well on you. And if we compare to black mm -hmm. that we saw in the winter deep palette, we can definitely guarantee that navy is uh, working much better. Yes. Absolutely, black is good on you. Okay, but navy is more in harmony with your colors. Black seems to be a bit heavy on you. Yeah, yeah, true, it's a bit heavier. And also the navy blue, since it's obviously blue, uh, has this very evident cool undertone that I think uh, is matching better. Absolutely. So considering this uh, um, comparison, we can definitely see here that the coolness is your main characteristic. Yeah, definitely. Since the winter cool uh, subgroup is working better compared to the other two, we can say that the coolness is my main uh, characteristic. Characteristic, definitely. Yeah, and it also makes sense because in the undertone phase of the analysis, the undertone was so obviously cool that it just makes sense to think that the coolness is my main characteristic and therefore I belong to the winter cool subgroup. Absolutely, everything makes sense. To confirm that Julia is winter cool, we need to check on her the colors from the summer cool palette. Let's start with this amazing light and soft blue. That's a very nice color, I really like it yes. on you. I can tell that probably this color is a touch too soft compared to your colors, mm -hmm. okay? But it's still working very well. And the Sawi blue is stunning as well. It's like cobalt, a bit lighter and slightly softer. True. It's working very well on you, Savoy blue. And a soft navy. Wow, that's amazing. Softer than your navy, True. okay? Yes. But still uh, perfect. And a summer red, very nice. Mauve is uh, probably the worst in this uh, palette. Probably because this is the softest uh, out of these colors from the summer cool subgroup. Uh, yes. So the undertone is correct, um, but probably the intensity is becoming a bit too yes. low. And a baby pink, very, very nice on you, is bright enough, mm -hmm. I think, for your colors. 
However, I have to say that it's a bit high in value for your value that is low. It's a bit light it's for a bit me, light, yeah. uh, but definitely it works in terms of undertone and intensity. And intensity, yes. So, Julia, I really like Summer Cool. So, yeah, I guess, guess overall uh, it's working. Since you guys left us a lot of comments guessing the palette of Julia, most of you said that Julia will probably belong to the Winter Deep palette. However, if this is true, Autumn Deep should theoretically work better than Summer Cool that we just saw. Let's see. If this Let's is see true or if this not. Is true. Eggplant is too warm yeah, for you. No. <laughs> okay. no. Your violet was way so better. Much better yeah. So much better. Mm. And a brown. No. And you know, this is not even the warmest brown in the autumn palette. True. Uh, and, and still it's not and working. It's still <laughs> it's too warm for you. Yeah. And the teal, teal as well is uh, probably out of those three colors that we just uh, saw in this palette, this is the one that is working uh, better. Yeah. But if we compare with the petroleum, no, 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 no petroleum, uh, yeah, 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 petroleum is so much petroleum better. Petroleum is so much better. <laughs> uh, this is what uh, makes me realize that you cannot be borderline with the warm season. No, no. Orange and yellow are not great on you, absolutely. And even the bright yellow from the bright uh, subgroup in the winter palette True. was too yellow ready for you. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Uh, yellow is the warm color, okay? Absolutely. So, yes, there are cool yellows like the lemon that we saw so, from the bright uh, winter palette but that was the only <laughs> color that wasn't really working because even exactly. if it's a cool yellow it's still a yellow and yes. my predominant characteristic is the coolness absolutely. so I absolutely stay away from yellows and oranges absolutely absolutely and then we saw a chili red and here we can say we can see as well a very big difference mm -hmm. because the base of this red is yellow yeah. so it's a warm red and her cherry red from the winter palette was way better yeah so definitely maybe this one is not too bad in terms of intensity but the undertone uh, is not uh, is not matching here is the undertone that is not matching also, we have to say that we have chosen Winter Cool over Winter Deep because navy was working way better than black, right? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Um, a Winter Deep person uh, would uh, look great in black, even better than navy, or as good as navy. You won't see any big difference, but in my case, the difference was quite obvious. Yes. Navy uh, blue was better than black. Black works, yes, but navy blue is... 100% better, better yes. yes. Okay, Julia, a recap of this uh, analysis uh, with these beautiful frames. Okay, so we first check your undertone and we saw that uh, the cool undertone is the one that is more in harmony with your colors. Absolutely, yes, no doubt about no that. Doubt. <laughs> we then checked uh, your intensity level mm -hmm. and we saw that with the bright colors uh, you will work very well yes absolutely so julia your palette is winter and we see that all these colors create a very nice frame with yours yes absolutely. very beautiful and we saw that your second best season is summer mm -hmm. since your subgroup is the cool subgroup mm -hmm. you are sharing with the summer cool the coolness the undertone here is correct, mm -hmm. maybe the intensity is a bit uh, too low mm -hmm. for you, so you are still a winter, yes. but you can definitely steal colors from uh, this uh, palette. Season to avoid, mm. spring, warm and bright. Mm. No. No, 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 no. Level of intensity maybe we are correct, but the undertone is so wrong no, that no, this so is wrong. not too warm. <laughs> no, 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 absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, no. No. no, look at that, uh, you know, orange, that oh, yellow, no. camel, no. oh my god. No. <laughs> no. And even worse, 
the autumn palette which is mine <laughs> yes yes we are the opposite we are the opposite actually yes look the difference i think that is very visible even in camera right yeah yeah so, so. cool and bright here and soft. warm and soft yeah, yeah. there okay julia so the analysis is finished thank you guys for watching our video and thanks for all the beautiful comments. Yeah, so we read your comments every day and we have no words to say how grateful we are. Uh, so thank you so much. Hopefully we're going to build this beautiful community of people who are passionate about colors and style. And uh, please remember that you can follow us on Instagram. And if you're interested in a color analysis session here in Melbourne, Australia or online, feel free to visit our website, Color Analysis analysis.au. We are going to be back here on YouTube very soon with more videos. Bye guys! Bye!